To mask or not to mask is an increasingly confusing question, especially as we enter a new stage in the pandemic. But unlike many COVID restrictions in Washington, masking guidelines are not going away. Face masks are still required in healthcare settings like hospitals, long-term care facilities, and doctor's offices. They're also still required in schools and on public transportation. Businesses still have the right to require customers to wear masks, and they can ask for proof of vaccination if they choose. Local officials also have the right to set their own mask requirements in response to the level of virus transmission in the community. Adding to the confusion about who should wear a mask is conflicting advice from the experts. Last week, the World Health Organization called for all vaccinated people to continue to wear masks in light of skyrocketing cases of the Delta variant around the world. The CDC, on the other hand, has not followed suit. The agency is sticking by its guidance, recommending fully vaccinated people can ditch the mask in outdoor and indoor settings. Unvaccinated people are supposed to continue wearing masks and social distancing. The, the context in which the WHO is making the recommendations is very different than us here in the United States, where we're really lucky to have three very effective vaccines um, and about two thirds of the adult population now fully vaccinated. However, we have always said that um, this virus is an opportunist and in areas where we still have rates of low vaccination, um, if that is where the virus is likely to take hold. We are still see, uh, seeing uptick in cases in areas of low vaccination and in that situation, we are suggesting that policies be made at the local level. Um, and those masking policies are really intended to protect the unvaccinated. The vaccinated, we believe, still are safe. The CDC says until the science proves otherwise, its current guidelines will remain in place. If you have your own questions about mask guidelines, COVID vaccines, or anything else, go to the Q&A section on KXLY.com and ask. We will start digging to get your questions answered.